In this video, I want to show you how to make a word cloud using Power BI. So a word cloud is a chart that'll show you how many times certain words appear uh, among certain text. So here I have a table of employees. And if I scroll over, then I see the notes field. So I want to, uh, you know, count how many times different words appear in that notes field. So I'm going to go back to the report tab over here in Power BI, and I'll put this on its own separate page. So I'll pick on the plus sign at the bottom to add a new page. Okay. So we have to really add a different visual than what you have here. So I'm going to come over to the right and I'll pick on the three dots to get more visuals. And then you click on get more visuals again. Now there's many more visuals available. So you can search for these, you can filter them. So I'm going to come up here and pick on search and I'll type in just a word word there. And uh, here's the one from Microsoft. And when you click on one of those visuals, you're going to pick in the word add here and that's going to add it into your Power BI. It says import successful. So I'll click OK. And notice how I have this new visual here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that visual and it's going to add the tile to the page. In this case, I'm going to make the tile bigger. All right. So then you're going to find the table that has the field that you want to analyze. So I'm going to come over here and expand the employees table and it's going to be that notes field. I'll pick up the notes and drag it here into the categories. And you can see this is the word cloud, but we're going to make some changes to that. Now down here, there's a section that says excludes. So maybe you have another field that has uh, words that you don't want to use, but let's uh, make this simpler. I just want to see maybe the top 15 words from their occurrences. So I'm going to come over here and pick on the, uh, the format icon. And then we're going to expand the general category. Okay. So maybe for the minimum number of, repeti uh, of uh, repetitions, I want maybe five. I don't want to show unless it has five repetitions. And that made the list a lot smaller, as you can see. Now, you might also want to change um, the number of words that show. So if you need more words than what's being displayed there or less, you can change that. But here, when I chose the minimum number of repetitions and uh, chose five, then it made the chart a lot uh, simpler. Let's go down to three. Okay, that, that added a little bit more there. And then you can change the number of words here. So if I move a mouse to the word in, in was used 29 times, French was used six times, international was used three times, completed was used four times, sales was used 10. So you can see, the words that were used more have a bigger font. And now we have a beautiful word cloud using Power BI.